right. So we just take that off the screen. We will begin on the heels, just sitting in Vajrasana. Vajrasana. Shoulders relaxed. I see Tina's got a little healthy today. Fun. And closing your eyes, as always, taking some time at the beginning of a class to drop out of the momentum of quick time, all the busyness of the day, and into slower momentum, slow time, spaciousness, gently coming into baby's time. Our time might be busy, busy, busy. The baby is in a spacious frequency, a vibration that is between worlds and that slow sounds that are slower, muffled quality, floating in the fluids. Mind, body connects, still only just beginning to merge as baby gets bigger and the brain starts to turn on. But everything is slow time. So see if you can make a connection to that, drop into womb space and slowly begin to come into baby's frequency, which is a rhythm that is much slower than yours. There's a peace in there. Soft, warm, and baby watery world. And as they are between worlds, they are still connected to the Earth's breath, which is a 50 second inhalation and exhalation, the breath of life. That's so slow. Sometimes just reminding ourselves of this longer inhale and exhale of Gaia will bring us into a frequency that slows everything down. Checking in with your heart and to heart and to baby. Taking a moment to settle into the wondrous fact that your heart called your baby's heartbeat in. Your heartbeat has a greater, louder, expansive frequency, boom, and that ignited your baby's heartbeat. You called the baby in, whether you were aware of it or not. That bigger expression of your heartbeat ignited the baby heart into being. So beautiful. Taking a moment to extend gratitude down to baby for choosing you as parent as guardian and custodian. Bringing both palms to heart center as you open your eyes, interlace the palms, please. Inhale, sweep your arms forward as you do so, round your spine and then lift the hips. Exhale, cactus the arms, spread the fingers, drop the hips down and squeeze down between the shoulder blades. Inhale, interlace the palms, chin to chest, press forward, then elevate the hips. And through your exhale breath, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, bring the hips down as you drag down through the shoulder blades. Interlace your palms, press forward through the interlace and inhale, rise. Exhale, take it back, squeeze, and bring the hips down. Pause a moment. Beautiful. Step your left foot out to the side, still remaining seated on the right heel. 
Bring your left elbow into the inner left knee. Spread the fingers, lift the chest, sweep your right arm around, either place your right palm behind you, or if you can, snuggle your fingers into your inner left thigh. Draw the right shoulder down and then rotate your gaze over your right shoulder. Be sure to continue squeezing your left elbow into the left knee, bracing, lifting through the chest and finding the rotation in this pregnancy variation of twist. If you push into your left foot, you'll naturally embed slightly into the right heel and the powerful muscles will respond. Support of the inhale gently and unravel. Bring your fingertips to the ground as you soften the shoulders. Two options, slide off your right heel and straighten your left leg, or bring your right foot into the inner left thigh if you find that your knee is not comfortable on the right side. Press your fingertips to the ground in front of you. Inhale, lift through the heart, look up. Exhale, round, chin to chest. Inhale, engage the left leg, pull into the fingertips, lift the gaze. Exhale, press into the fingertips, round the spine. This time, inhale, lift the gaze, walk your palms forward, Either embrace the earth with your palms with straight arms or come onto your forearms and take a deeper forward fold. Just depends what you have available to you. Keep the jawline relaxed and the throat soft. Two more full breaths. By now, you're settling into the rhythm of your breath, expansive inhalation, condensing through your exhale breath. Walk your palms back, lift the gaze. Step the left foot to the front of the mat, shift your weight forward and rock your lunge backwards and forwards several times. Getting into the hips. We do these a lot in pregnancy yoga, Shannon, just to find space. Beautiful. Deepen into the low lunge for a moment. Simply feel. Shift the weight of the hips back. Come onto all fours. Bring your elbows to the ground. Cross your wrists and touch opposite palms to opposite shoulders. Interlace your hands and bring the forearms to the ground. Keep the spacing of the elbows. Now. Lift baby up into the spine by rounding your back and bring your gaze between your elbows. Tuck your toes under, pick up your knees, dolphin. Keep the knees bent and straighten the spine by pushing back through the shoulders. Now begin to straighten your legs and relax your neck completely. You're in a strong dolphin. Take several breaths. A reminder to bear the weight equally between the shoulders and arms and the legs. So engage the legs, feel as though there's a small inner spin or squeeze of the heels. Gently bring your knees down to the ground, press back, sit down on your heels, palms come to the thighs, neutral spine, close your eyes, deep breath in and long breath out. Beautiful. Interlace your palms. Inhale, press the interlace forward around the spine, lift the hips. Reach the interlace to the sky, squeeze the inner thighs, exhale, open twist to the left, look over your left thumb. Inhale, reach the palms high, stretch up, Exhale, sit down, palms come to the thighs. Inhale, interlace the palms, press the interlace forward, gather up the hips, rise. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, interlace the palms, reach the interlace to the sky. Exhale, sit down on the heels, palms to the thighs. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, prayer the palms, reach the arms high. 
Exhale, place the palms to ground, tuck toes under, round the spine, pick up your knees, downward facing dog. Three breaths, longer exhales, exploring the sturdiness of this shape and enjoying the relief it brings to the round of the ligaments at the base of the uterus. Gently come back onto all fours, cat and cow, three cycles. Beautiful. Sit back onto your heels. Slide your right foot out slightly to the side. Sitting on your left heel, place your right elbow onto the inner left knee. Spread the fingers, lengthen through the spine, sweep your left arm around, either palm relaxed behind you, or slip the fingers into the inner right thigh. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, take your gaze over your right shoulder, left shoulder. Press firmly into the right foot, engage slightly through the pelvic floor, and feel some rotation through the ribs. Uterus is relaxed. Broad breaths, feel the full circumference of the ribs, accept the breath. Your inhale breath invites the unwind of the spine. Either slip off the left heel or bring the left foot into the inner right leg as you straighten it. Fingertips come to the ground. Inhale, lift through the chest, look up. Exhale, round, dip chin to chest. Two more. On your next inhale, lift the heart, walk your hands forward. You might want to come onto the forearms, relax the neck, and explore the stretch between the inner thighs. Your palms back now. Step your right foot onto the mat. Slide the hips forward into a low lunge and rock your lunge out backwards and forwards. Just a reminder that if you ever have tweaks in the round ligaments, particularly getting up in the morning, do this action on hands and knees, one foot forward, rock the lunge, then do it on the other side. And this warms up the round ligament and makes it more comfortable to move through the day without tweaking. Deepen into the low lunge for some moments. Gently bring the hips back onto all fours. Elbows come to the ground. As you cross the wrists, place palm onto shoulder. Make the spacing between the elbows just as it is. Interlace the palms, place the forearms onto the ground. Round up to protect the belly, lift the knees, and you're in your dolphin once again. If dolphins really aren't your thing today and you've got too much heartburn, take child pose instead. Grow your strength, your resilience. Another three deep breaths in your dolphin. Step your feet slightly close together, bring the knees to the ground. Unflip the toes, gently slide the seat to your heels, hands to your thighs. And taking it into slight back bends, continuing to spiral movement through the spine, finding space through the body, opening up channels that might be blocked from too much sitting. Interlace your palms, chin to chest, press the interlace forward, inhaling, or oh, sorry, exhale here. 
Inhale, rise. Exhale, left palm comes to your hip. Look over the left shoulder and take it into a slight side back bend. Inhale, interlace your palms, flip the interlace to the side. Exhale, put it all together, cactus the arms, squeeze between the shoulder blades, sit down on your heels. Take a deep breath in as you interlace the palms and press them forward. Exhale, round around the baby, strongly press out through the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the hips, reach up. Exhale, right palm to the right hip, take it into a backside bend, gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, interlace the palms, reach for the sky, lift the gaze. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze between the shoulder blades, slowly bring the hips down. Place your hands on your thighs, close your eyes. Oh. Bring your palms together. Inhale, lift the gaze and palm. Exhale, have a count to the mat, tuck the toes under, and ripple back to a downward facing dog. Feel into your fluid body. Your body carries four times the volume of fluids in pregnancy. So it should be easy to connect to your body as not being hard and fixed, but rather fluid, ready to open for birth. Gently come back onto all fours, cat and cow, angelate through the spine. Maintaining the movements within your breath cycles. As you close your eyes, go deeply inward and explore all the sensations that arise. Come to neutral. Step your left foot forward where your left palm is. Press strongly onto the webbed right palm and reach your left arm up to the sky. Into a twist. Try not to slump the hips too far forward. It's quite a square lunge. If you want to find more space in the wrist, bend the left elbow and pull it back a little, working the tissues out through the ribs as well. This will give you a little bit more. Just feel your way in safely. Place both hands to the mat. Swing your right foot over the long edge of the mat on the left side. Left palm on the ground on the inside of your left foot. Squeeze knee and shoulder together. Reach your right arm high now. Keep the squeeze so that you feel the activation into the inner left thigh. And find a broad space across the front chest. You might choose to bend the right elbow as well. Take it back just an inch and then sink down onto your right heel. Place your right palm to the ground behind you and rise and up. Lift your baby to the sky. You can skip this if you wish and keep your hips down. Otherwise, find the space. Safe pregnancy back bend, three point, and can be extremely elevating for the system. Gently come on down. Flip the left foot forward, left foot on the inner right thigh. Right arm deepens down the right leg. Reach your right, sorry, left arm deepens down the left leg. What am I saying? Be logical. Right palm, draw the arm back, spread the fingers to get into fascia, shrug your right shoulder up to your ear and extend. Bring the arm down and pulse and extend. Fascia loves pulsation. It really helps to engage all the levels of your body. Finally, take it over, deepen, and breathe into it, finding the right lobes of the lungs and expanding into that area of the body. As we open the intercostals, so we make space for the diaphragm as baby grows. Inhale gently, come back to center. Shift your weight onto your right shin once again, and then take that left foot back and you're back onto all fours. Bring the knees together a little bit closer 
come onto the elbows, cross the wrists, palms to the shoulders. That just makes your spacing, interlace the palms between the forearms to the ground. Dolphin once again. If you don't want another dolphin, it's child pose. Press up between the shoulder blades, tuck toes, lift the knees, down the face, and sorry, dolphin here. Relax the neck and breathe broad through the nose. Gently come onto the knees and flip the toes, bring the hips back, drive the palms to the knees, over the knees onto the thighs. Breath in, hand out. Moving through the full cycle now. Interlace your palms, press the interlace forward, inhaling deeply. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the hips, sweep the interlace up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, interlace, grow tall. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, interlace, lift the gaze, lift the palms. Exhale, left palm to the hip, take it into a back side, bend the gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Interlace the palms, reach for the sky. Exhale, open twist to the right. Inhale, right palm to the right hip. And on your exhale, side back bend over to the right. Inhale, interlace the palms in neutral gaze, front of the mat, reach the palms high. Exhale, cactus the arms, be intentional as you bring the hips down. Open strongly through the front body, hands to the thighs, close your eyes, three breaths, back into softness. Let your heart rate return to normal. Bring your palms to prayer, inhale, reach the prayer to the side, lift the gaze. Exhale, hands come to the ground. On your inhale, look up. Exhale, round it out, cat and cow, full body and breath. Beautiful. Snap your right foot where your right palm is. Reach your right palm up to the sky. Easy twist, kneeling. Instead of letting your right knee flop out, keep bringing the thigh in towards baby. Bend the right elbow, pull it back slightly, create more space. If it's too uncomfortable in the neck to look up, bring the gaze down. Place your right palm on the inside of the right foot. Swing your left foot over the left side, the right side of the mat. Reach your left palm high. You're now in a side angle, keep squeezing knee and shoulder into each other. And press into foot and knee, tractioning away ever so slightly, bend the left elbow, draw it back, create a little bit of space. Come to sitting down on the left heel. Palm comes to the ground behind you. You can just take your gaze to the sky or you can elevate for the full variation of half camel, lifting baby to the head. Explore another two deep, broad breaths. Spin your left foot forward slightly as you bring the hips down. Straighten the right leg, left foot on the inner right thigh, right arm comes down the length of the right leg. Open the left ribs first, bend the left elbow, spread the fingers, engage the muscles, Draw the left shoulder up towards the ear lobe and stretch the left arm over. Pulsate two more times like that. Bring the left elbow back and down and then pulse it. This helps us to find deeper engagement so that when we take it into the stretch now and fold, we found all the tissues of the body, the gossamer fabric of the 
fascia as well as the deeper stretch through the muscles. It should be pleasant but intense. Gently come up towards center. Beautiful. Bringing the knees together and onto all fours. Cat and cow, but this time as you look up, roll the hips out, find your rhythm, and notice what's changed in the posterior chain of muscles as you work into your undulating and hip circling down, um, cat and cow. You might change direction, going the other way. Again, really making a pleasurable connection with your body. No need for judgments or harshness, just pure pleasure. Come to neutral, tuck toes, squeak belly up, downward facing dog. Three breaths in a slowly jog. Exhale, broad and long and smooth. This breath, particularly if you allow the exhales to move through the mouth. Deeply restorative during labor as you release intensity from the body. Lift your gaze. Please step your left foot, woolly baby, down the midline of the mat and spin your right heel to the ground, your right foot 90. Check the left heel aligns with the right. Rise for warrior two. We're going to pulse the warrior. Straighten the left leg, reach your palms to the sky. Inhale, exhale, deepen the grass in two. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach for the sky. Exhale, pulse down. And finally, inhale, extend. Exhale, find your depth and pause here. Relax the shoulders, but keep the arms broad. You want to feel the outer rim of the right foot making contact with the mat and the inseam of the right leg is turned on. Place your left forearm to your left thigh. Sweep your right arm forward, spread the fingers, draw the arm around in a big halo. Right elbow is bent as you take it back and down behind you through your exhale. Two more times, deep lymphatic movements, but also unlocking any stuckness in the shoulders, which opens the pathway to breath and bloods to the brain. Half bind your right arm behind you. Try not to collapse into the left shoulder, embed it into the socket, and then drape your head over your left shoulder. Deep neck stretch on the right side. Reach your right palm high, bring your right palm down to the ground. Take your left shoulder and bring, bring it to the inside of the left knee. Stretch your left palm forward, then your right, and you bow into a humble variation, pregnancy style, keeping the feet broad, the outer rib of the right foot still pressing to the mat. Heel into that left hip. Just be with the sensation. Your muscles may be speaking to you by now if you've had time off the mat. That's okay. They have memory, they remember what they are capable of through that first trimester of hibernation. Walk your hands back, straighten the left leg, shift the weight of the hip slightly to the left and increase the stretch through the hamstrings, but relax your neck. It's yummy. The rotation of the feet stays the same. Left toes face the short edge of the mat, right toes face the long edge of the mat. And you simply engage in the tissues up that left leg, particularly the hamstrings. The shifting weight to the left will only increase the stretch if you wish for it. 
Beautiful. Walk your hands between your feet and spin your left toes inwards. Walk your palms forward in a wide V shape. Wave the hips between the arches of the feet and then sink the chest, relax your head. You have so much space to get into the whole silhouette of the body with the breath. Big, full breaths, enjoying the spaciousness, enjoying the full body openness. Walking your palms back, spin your right toes towards the corner of your mat, press up onto the board of the right foot, draw your hips over that right heel and flex your left. Walk both hands down the inner line of the left leg and stretch again. Could be mildly uncomfortable. You might be feeling the arch on that right side turning on. That is the intention to Switch on the arch in that right foot. Get a good stretch down the inner left thigh. And to leg through the spine, relax the neck. Beautiful. Walk your palms back, please. Gently spin your right knee onto the ground. Glide the hips forward. Heel toe the left foot off the mat to the side. And stir the heart. Work those hips in big circles. Backwards, forwards, around, do whatever feels good. You're making space in the joints. Could be space that you need during labor to bring a baby through. This is all labor and birth preparation. Please come back onto all fours, tuck toes, press up between shoulder blades, downward facing dog. The fingers are spread wide, there's a little bit of pressure into the finger pads, and then heels of the hands press, and you'll feel, feel a strong line of force moving from the hands right up through the shoulders into your seat. We're creating harmonious shapes with the body in connection to the earth. So don't lose connection to earth, but find your extensions, your end points in your body. Gently deepen onto hands and knees, move through several cycles of languid cat and cow. And back into a downward facing dog. Lift the gaze, step your right foot down the midline of the mat, orient the feet into your warrior two foundation and arise. Meet the palms above the crown as you straighten your right leg, inhaling deeply. Exhale into the Vedrasana two. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale down, just breathing up the head, slow your fluid into the joints. Inhale. Exhale, take into warrior two, hold of Dristi beyond the fingers. So Shannon, you'll want to check that your pubic bone snuggles up to the base of the uterus. It'll invite the left glute to turn on a bit stronger, but it stabilizes the pelvis for pregnancy so that we don't dump into the joints. Right forearm to the thigh, and three sweeps of that left arm, big circles. Expansive breath and movement. Three full rotations.
on the third rotation, half bind the left arm behind you, drape your head over your right shoulder. Make sure you're not collapsing, but you can feel the feet pressing into the mat, the inseam of the left leg turned on, the hip rolling slightly up and away from the pubis. Reach your left palm up to the sky and bring it to the ground, opposite the right foot. Extend your right arm forward, right shoulder tucks to the inside of your knee, bow your head, embrace the earth with your palms as you press back slightly, keeping that deep bend in the right knee, feel the hip. Walk your palms back, one hand stays, straighten the right leg as much as you can. Flexies, tilt the hips slightly to the right side to increase the stretch. Walk your palms along the mat. Spin your left toes outwards, press up onto the ball of the left foot, glide the hips to land over that left knee whilst you flex your right foot. Walk your hands down the inner line of the right leg and take a bow. Walk your palms back towards you, spin your right foot onto the mat, elevate the hips, rotate the toes out, and grip just above the knees. Deep in the hips between the knees, wide goddess. Spin your right shoulder over to the left side, a good way between surges and labor to move the surge out of the spine, ready for the next. You are using empowering postures rather than sitting in painful helplessness. Spin the opposite shoulder over to the right, twist. Coming back into wide goddess, deep and for a moment. Two options available here. Straighten the legs, spin your toes to face the long edge of the mat. You can reach forward once again for that broad wide prasarita. Or you can swim your arms around, bend the elbows, make space for the shoulders as you draw the arms back and down, interlace your hands behind you, release your index fingers. Inhale, puff the heart up and open. And then from here, deepen into your forward fold. Desi, please rotate your toes in ever so slightly, love. That's it. So the feet are parallel or slightly turned in. Beautiful. Now deepen that forward fold and hold. Let the arms spin through the gate of the shoulders, neck relaxes, the full posterior chain of muscles giving a nice stretch. Aliki, bend the elbows a bit, loosen the grip with the palms like this, bend the elbows and draw them a little bit further over the bent elbows will make space for your shoulders. Relax your palms to the ground. Take the gaze to the front of the mat and the palms. Step back, down dog. Open the knees, bring the knees to the ground. Shift the weight of the hips back. Baby between the thighs. Soften into five spacious breaths, letting go completely in your child's pose. Coming back onto all fours, bring the knees a little closer together. Spin the palms, fingers face the knees, heels of the hands face the front of the mat. 
Inhale, shift the weight forward, look up, exhale, round the spine, rock the hips back, keep the palms firm to ground in reverse wrist. So that we get a good stretch into the wrist as well. We strengthen the wrist now. You may be able to avoid that pain that can sometimes happen postnatally once baby is born. And now bring the knees a little closer together. Tuck the toes under, press the hips back, keep your hands to the mat, and just hold for a few breaths. Beautiful. Place your palms the normal way onto the mat now, and just shift the weight of the shoulders directly over the wrists, keeping the arms strong. And let it all work out, blood flow back to the base of the palms, the wrists, sorry. Slide your left shin forward into your pigeon, sliding your right leg back. And then if you have balance, work out the wrists by rolling the palms out. You can do one at a time if you're slightly off balance. Beautiful. Sleeping pigeon, five to 10 breaths. So it depends on your breath cycles, but try to move into long breath cycles. It could take you to quite an extent of inhale and then exhale. Relax the mouth, roll and spread breath. Each exhale moving through softly parted lips, inhaling through the nose. Placing palms back onto the mat, gently roll onto your left hip and slide your right knee, right thigh to meet your left foot. Mukunda tilts, still continuing in flow. Right palm to the right left knee, left fingertips to the ground. Inhale, curl around your baby and bring your chin to your chest, exaggerate the up top of the tailbone. Exhale, lift the right glute, spiral through the spine, look over your left shoulder strongly. Inhaling as you curl around baby. Exhaling as you rotate and twist. Continue at your own pace. Languid, slow movements. Releasing any sacral plate fixations and helping avoid pubic sensors pain towards the end. Finally, let's take it into the twist. The next time you take your gaze over your left shoulder, hold it, keep opening through the heart, and then swing your chin across your body and tilt your head over your right shoulder, gaze past the right shoulder, neck release on the left side. Softly unwind, pause a moment at center. Flip the right foot into your pigeon, sliding your left foot back and taking it into the sleeping pigeon once again. Let it go, breaths out all the softy part of this. Seeing if you can relax into the shape. If you need to stay quite upright because baby is big, that's fine. 
but soften the shoulders, relax the face, relax the jaw, and follow the golden thread that means that you inhale through the nose, soft exhale down the mouth, imagining the thread is becoming a fine filament, a golden thread which as you walk and cross. Press your palms into the mat, lift the gaze, roll onto the right hip and slide the left thigh to the right foot. Left palm to the right knee. Your inhale curls strongly around your baby, chin to chest. Exhale, spiral through the spine and take the gaze over your shoulder. This has been a very spinal set, so you might feel slightly altered post your yoga, should be calmer, nervous system in a more settled state. However, there might be energy moving through the body as you release blockages in the spine. Take it around into the twist now. After you taking the gaze over your right shoulder, tilt the resting gaze over your left, and hold your sages twist. Right shoulder migrates slightly away from the neckline to increase the stretch. Gently unwind, hands to the knees, pause. Completing the set by pumping the energy now through the spine and opening the lymphatic in the front groin. Right palm to the ground, spiral the left arm around as you elevate the hips, keep spiraling the arm, gently bring the hips down. Both hands, palms to the ground behind you, Flip the knees over to the other side. Left arm stays, right arm in a halo as you lift the hip. Take the arm back, gently bring the hips down. Flip to the right. Inhale, sweep, lift, open the heart, and bring it down. And over to the other side, final time. Inhale, lift, open. Find space and gently deepen down. Open both legs wide, Yoga Vishokanasa. Palms come into the, onto the ground in front of you. Press into the palms, flex the feet. Push into the palms to lift the chest forward. Feel a slight hollowing in the lower back. Walk your hands forward to a place that feels flat to you. Or bring your forearms to the ground, still keeping enough space for the baby. Five deep breaths. Walk your hands back, slip your fingers underneath your knees, gently bring your knee feet in front of you, place your hands to the ground behind you. Take a moment and deep breath. And then we'll move to find our cushions so that we can elevate the sacrum. 
You can have one cushion, you can have two, whatever you can find. Just make sure that there's a little bit of height. Anything at all, really, just to give us that little bit of height. And if you're not prepared with your cushions, that's fine. Just a little bit of elevation will also help. Okay, beautiful. So next time, Shannon, just know that it's really helpful to have a cushion next to you um, for pregnancy. And now from here, shift your weight slightly to one side, roll onto the shoulder, then bring your sacrum onto your um, cushion or blanket or anything so that the sacrum is slightly elevated. Shannon, that it's just slightly elevated on your blanket is at your towel is absolutely fine, not a problem at all. Keep the feet, hips distance, knees bent, arms relaxed by your side. We'll just move through slight activation of the pelvic floor muscles so that we can truly understand deactivation. So particularly by the time you get to Desi and Maliki's time in pregnancy, where babies are already a lot bigger, this pose at first can bring the, the, a little bit of compression into the diaphragm, but it's deeply calming for the nervous system. So if you just stay for a little bit, if you can get the sacrum comfortable, you'll find that the pressure of heavy baby off the pelvic floor muscles feels really good. And it's the best way to understand how to relax the pelvic floor muscles and visualize how the pelvic floor muscles need to be relaxed to bring baby into the birth canal. And then with surges, the pelvic floor muscles actually work with downward movement to bring the baby through. So inhale, activate the pelvic floor slightly by lifting up through the pelvic floor muscles. And on your exhale, breathe out of soft mouth and relax completely. Now, for some at first, relaxing completely into the pelvic floor muscles can feel unusual and slightly scary. Squeeze a little on the inhale and then let everything go completely relax on the exhale. Do that one more time. Activate on the inhale. And now as you relax on the exhale, leave the pelvic floor muscles relaxing. Let them relax completely. and become intimately involved in a journey into the pelvic bowl and notice as you go deep into the muscles, the bowl of the pelvic floors, is there distortion on one side? Do you feel more tension or are you even on both sides? Can you relax the pelvic floor muscles without the fear of what happens when you let go? Our deep psychology has encouraged constant pulling up and in. It's a conditioned response from when we're very young. This creates a big disservice when it comes to releasing and letting go and softening so that baby can come through. Interesting, your sacroiliac joints, um, Desi, I can see the staff going on there. Could be because the tailbone is slightly constricted on the cushions. And so you're getting a little bit of constriction of blood through the legs. We'll just take just a few more breaths here, really feeling the pelvic floor muscles release. And just a word about yoni eggs. If you use a yoni egg and you insert it into the birth canal, and then you use your muscles to lift up, your muscles will work more evenly to lift the egg up towards the cervix. But the trick is then to relax the pelvic floor muscles enough for the egg to migrate back down the birth canal, and then eventually to use the pelvic floor muscles to push the egg out of the perineum. When you've got that sensation, you will be able to shorten your pushing time enormously. For first baby, maybe it'll take three, four, maximum 20 minutes to push if you can make that mind-body connection compared to some women who are having to spend two hours to try and get their baby out. Maybe they didn't even have a long labor, but it's because that connection with the pelvic floor muscles hasn't happened. And the fear of truly letting go is deep. 
So play with it. If you have a yoni egg, play with that. Gently roll onto your side and place your cushion between your thighs, preferably to your left, but whichever side you're comfortable is also fine. Once you've taken the cushion to underneath the shoulder, between the legs, wherever is comfortable, you can completely relax in your pregnancy shavasana. You know, Shannon, if you're still comfortable lying on your back in Shavasana, that's absolutely fine. Eventually, you'll start to get more comfortable lying on your side because of the weight of baby. But for now, absolutely, lie on your back and let go. And once comfortable in your Shavasana, breathe deep in, fill your body with. Breathing light out as well. Touching your consciousness to your babies. And feeling into a color that supports you and your baby. Usually the first color that comes to you is the perfect frequency of color for connection, for healing, and for creating a sense of safety. As you breathe in the light, see this color filter through the light, iridescent, encompassing your baby in color and light. Each light breath filling you up, each exhale surrounded with this beautiful. You are relaxed, your nervous system is relaxed, your baby is relaxed, and you are surrounded by light. We are joy, we are peace, we are beauty, we are strength. We walk in the light and we carry our babies into the light. You are whole, your baby is whole. Namaste, my friends. Enjoy Shavasana for another couple of minutes if you can. I will see you next time.